Hi, welcome to the Circle of Mushroom, Athens, Greece. This time we are in the countryside at an organic farmer farm and we are getting the straw. We are cutting the straw down uh, using this machine you see in the back and we make these small bags. I'm going to show uh, this uh, machine uh, but first how to choose the, uh, your straw then how to cut it down and at the end uh, how to make these nice little bags yeah, ready to put in the pasteurizer uh, so this is what we do here okay, first thing first how to choose your straw so, like uh, this uh, greenhouse uh, collapsed during the winter, so the, uh, you can see that there is like straw growing, even like kind of yellow mushroom here. Uh, that's not very good, but I see at the back there that they are well protected here. So I will take from this side and one tip. One good tip, I will move there to show you. One good tip is to look at the cable. So this is how you choose your straw. You see the cable here? Yeah. So this cable is all black and I don't see any sign of uh, rust in it. So this means it has been kept very dry. Okay, see the other cable as well. Yeah, there is a little bit of rust here. I don't know if you can catch it in the camera where my finger is. Yeah, so uh, we'll try another one. Okay, so this is uh, one of the signs. The, uh, another sign is look, uh, this looks like a kind of fungus growing, and there is a little bit on, on the outside. So this is not great, like here. And uh, what other sign? Of course, if it is like black, like here, this is black. Uh, it's not good at all. Okay, so finally I will take uh, the one I found in the beginning. It's difficult. Uh, the other sign are uh, that it is a good yellow. I mean, it's not blackish. If you touch it inside, you don't feel any moisture. Now it's very hot, so I feel a little bit of moisture. Anyway, that's the best I found here, so I will take it. Another tip for choosing your straw bale is to wait it. So this one weights only 13 kilo. The previous one was 20 kilo. So imagine that there is seven kilo of water in the other one. So this one is better. You can see that the metal doesn't have any rust anywhere. The color is bright yellow. It's not whitish. There is not much uh, of uh, this kind of uh, fungal thing growing. It's a good straw bit. Okay, the next step we open these uh, wires. The straw is ready. Here we have the machine. So this is the model we have. Look at it. It's, uh, it has a big tube to put the straw. And it's made for cutting down branches and twigs. And look inside. There is like two blades and some other iron. Uh, folded iron I guess to help uh, move the things and these blades turn in two directions we'll use only one direction and so we put the straw from the top from this tube it gets here and again then down there into this bag so I will show you right now how it works first close the machine I start it. You can see it spinning. Then I throw some. But you can put whole bunches like this. <laughs> 
Actually, the only limitation is this hole. Yes. So now I will take some chronometer eyes. So this is the result. I will show you. So this, after one cut, it looks like this. It's it's okay, but we cut it two times because uh, it still has quite big pieces, and also with the previous machine we had it was making like cotton this one is not so thin so we'll cut it another time and at the end it will look uh, okay like inside this package it's smaller smaller pieces more under five centimeter size So this is it, I will count how much time I will cut this down and I will tell you and then I will show you also how Lina is making, preparing these small bags. between cutting two times the throw, cutting one time the throw. So you see there's bigger pieces here. When I grab a little bit there's big piece that comes here. It's just this. And it could be even smaller in my opinion. You can see most of the pieces are cut. Some of them split in two from the middle, like here. So there's not a big difference, I think we could use this, but uh, there is a small difference that I think the mycelium would appreciate. The previous machine was had a more cottony result, and I think with this new machine we have less mushrooms, because the pieces are much bigger less like cotton the other was a weed whacker mounted inside uh, at the bottom of a cylinder with a grid and so we put the straw at the top and it just turned and whack them in very small pieces it's it looks like i don't know something like here very small pieces so uh, I finished in about 15 minutes the whole straw bale and five more to get the second round of second uh, time of uh, to cut them two times uh, because it's much easier once it gets to just pour at the top and just go go to the bottom and here Lina is just is preparing the the bags so these bags we, put, we will put in the car and bring back to the lab and then they will be ready it's already two kilo of straw each and so ready to put in the pasteurizer maybe add some straw, uh, coffee ground or bran and here she's cutting a new piece of cloth to do a new bag so I'll go and grab a third straw bale and make a new one 
I hope you appreciated this video because personally I was looking a lot about what machine can do, what work, things like that. So this machine can do this, this job. 15 minutes per throw bale, five more if you want to do like me, do it twice. Okay, another thing with the um, throw cut twice is that it doesn't take as much space so we can make uh, smaller bags even if they are quite big for two kilo bags.